Hi guys, it's me Ashley and welcome to another video. And today's video is actually a story time and let me tell you, this is insane. Okay, so like I said, this story is crazy. So as you may or may not know, I am a wedding planner. Um, I'm certified as a certified wedding planner and designer. I don't know why I said certified twice, but anyways, not the point. The point is I worked a wedding last night and what people don't realize is the wedding industry, it's, it's, it's something else. It's not always, you know, sunshine and rainbows. Then again, nothing really is anymore these days. But I had a crazy experience that I was like, I have to make a video about this. Now, I'm not gonna use any names and I'm not gonna do anything like that because, you know, <clears throat> I don't wanna be that person that like calls people out on their, on their, their bullshit, you know? Either way, I was working a wedding. It was very nice. I'm in Orlando. The venue was at the Acre, I will tell that because I love that venue and literally like, if you're getting married in Orlando, highly recommend. Anyways, this wedding, you know, it was already kind of a bummer because it was mostly outside and it was downpouring and it was super cold and by the end of the night, I was completely soaked and I was cold and freezing and I came home and took the world's nicest hot shower. It was great, it was so great, but anyways, so a series of things went wrong. Um, the thing is, as a wedding planner, I was just the assistant, but you still always have to be super flexible because stuff, there's always at least one thing that goes wrong on a wedding day. Literally, there's no escaping it. Sometimes it's something small and sometimes it is super extreme. Like for example, at my mom's wedding, uh, they accidentally burned a hole in my Nana's dress when they were like steaming it. And then the wedding last night, the DJ threatened to leave. And let me tell you, this was the most unprofessional, crazy thing that I've ever experienced in my life. So I'm not gonna say who, but anyways, uh, to, to paint the picture for y'all, we had a tent, we had a dance floor, uh, it was downpouring. And of course you can't put DJ equipment in the mud or in wetness, cause you know, that's just, you just, you just can't do that. That's just not okay. Um, which we understood. And I provided a bunch of backup plans because there was so much wrong. So they get there and they're complaining the entire time. And I also found out that prior to them getting there, they like have been fighting slash yelling at the bride like multiple times, which is also unprofessional and not okay. Um, especially when like the bride, like you're, she's paying you to be there. Like, what are you doing? Anyways, um, it was wild because I offered them all these options of like things they could do. Like, oh, you can go inside this building or we could go inside this building or we can take cardboard and then the chairs and prop them with the table so that none of it's like in the stuff. And it was just one thing after another. They were complaining. They complained to every vendor there and the guests and eventually started screaming at the bride and the mother, not the mother, the father of the bride in front of all their guests, which I just kind of stood there and I was like, I, I can't believe the things that I, I'm hearing right now. So then they threatened to leave. And I was like, okay, bye. Like, I don't need your toxicity today. You're ruining this poor girl's wedding. Like, what is wrong with you? And they're like, oh, well, I've been in the business for 20 years and blah, blah, blah. And they kept bragging about how they like usually do bigger weddings and bigger venues and stuff. And I was like, how unprofessional can you be? They also took drinks from the bar and were trying to give guests drinks from the bar which is also a big no-no. Um, so that was interesting, but eventually eventually they calmed down and eventually they ended up doing their job and everything was fine. Well, fine, but I learned a lot yesterday that you really need to check on your vendors, 
you need to be careful who you book, whether you're the planner, the assistant, whatever, or you're the bride and you're like getting married. Do your research. Don't rely just on reviews. Like you need to do background. And when you do go to book a vendor, make sure that you feel very confident and you feel very positive from the beginning because if there's anything that just, like if you're getting yelled at or you're like not feeling good, don't do it. Don't do it because it's gonna be way worse on wedding day. And usually I don't like to talk about like work-related stuff like this, but the reason I wanted to do the story time was because you only get one wedding, hopefully. Um, and it, you know, you're spending all this money and you're doing all this stuff and you really should not have to experience that. And that was by far, out of the weddings I've done in the past year, I've done almost two dozen. And that is by far like the worst horror story that I've had so far. And it's just appalling to think that people are okay with acting that way and doing things like that. So if you are watching this and you are getting married, um, you can always reach out to me. I have my own business. I'll insert my stuff right here if you wanna check it out. Um, I am a certified wedding planner and designer, like I said before, I will happily help you. Um, and if you are a planner or something watching this, please, for my sake, and you know, if not mine, for who you're booking, their sake, do your research and do not let them book with somebody that's going to do that to their day. So yeah, that's my story time, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Good and bye.